Yesterday's $50 bank bag of pennies from Southern Metals Bank was a dandy. So I figured I'd go ahead and hunt the second one today and see if it's as good as the one from yesterday. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fines Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, I've got another $50 bank bag of pennies from Southern Metals Bank. Now, if you watched yesterday's episode, we had a whole bunch of wheat scents. A lot of them were cleaned, but we had a lot of oldies and goodies, plus some uncirculated 59s for the collection. We also found a 1936 DDO, and even though it was damaged, it was the first one I have ever found. Now, I don't know if this bag is the same week. I don't know when Southern Meadow got this bank bag. I know he had several bank bags, and he offered a couple up to me, and I took whatever ones he gave me. Hopefully, it's as good as the last one, but if not, we haven't had bad luck hunting the other two bags we've hunted in total from Southern Metals Bank, so I'm excited to get into it. Now, for those keeping track at home, this is going to be boxes technically 209 and 210 because it is $50 in pennies and that's about two bank boxes. So, we'll have 210 boxes hunted at the end of this episode and after slotting a 1916 upgrader in the last episode, we are inching closer to having a better, more complete Dansko Lincoln Penny album. We've slotted 205 of the 234 cents, and there's still a couple of them that have high mintages that I could still find, and hopefully we find one today, but if not, I'll take whatever we can get. We're going to slide the album out of the way, and I'll give you a look at the book once I've finished the hunt, and I compare all the finds to the album to see if we have any upgrades or additions. In the meantime, we're going to get right to the hunt. Now, because it's a bank sealed bag, I do need to tear the top of it off. And because, like the last video, they're not in rolls, all we're going to do is give you updates as I pull out handfuls and search for Wheaties and other finds. Let me get this opened. We'll take a peek at the top side and see if we have another wheat scent staring back at us. All right, I've got the bag open. And similar to yesterday, we will have a wheat scent staring back at us. So that's a good sign. Let's see what the first wheat scent is to kick us off for this hunt. And that's going to be a 1953S. And just like the last bag, we had a lot of S minted wheat scents. So that's a good sign. And this one doesn't appear to be cleaned or wiped at the date. So maybe we'll have some good wheat scents and not some clean ones this time. As a quick reminder, Southern Metal is doing a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. I'll also have that video linked down below and I'll even throw it up here. That way you can check it out if you want to participate in his giveaway. All right, let's get to the hunt. One wheat scent on the board. I'll be back with my next find. Just a few handfuls in, and we've got our second wheat scent. And this is going to be a 1948 Philadelphia. A few handfuls later, and we've got another wheat scent. Could be clean, but we'll take a look at the obverse. And that's another S minted 1947 this time. It's actually in decent shape. I think maybe it's been treated with something, but either way, 1947S on the board, our second estimated wheat scent out of three so far. Wheat scent number four is going to be a 1955 Philadelphia. It looks like it might have the poor man's doubling. Um, It's hard to tell. Maybe it does, but either way, it's a common 1955 Philadelphia. Weed set number five of the hunt, a 1956 Denver. Weed set number six, it's another 1956 Denver. Well, it's been several handfuls and I haven't had any weed scent finds, but this handful that I just splashed out, I think I see three, including an oldie, 1910. We don't need the 1910, we need the 1911 but maybe it's an upgrader, and either way, that's a 112-year-old scent that we just found in this bag. Weed scent seven is a dandy, and weed scent number eight is right here, a 51D, and weed scent number nine, I know I saw, oh, there it is, is a 1944 something, if I can pull it out. 1944 Philadelphia. Man, nine weed scents already. We're not even a fifth way to with the bag. Weed scent number 10 is going to be a 1957 Denver. Weed scent number 11, an oldie, 1935 Philly. We don't need it, but like I said before many times, anytime I get one from the 30s, I'm happy with that. Same handful, and weed scent number 12 is going to be another 1953 San Francisco. Our 13th weed scent 
is a 1956 Philadelphia. Weed scent number 14, a 54 Denver. Same handful, and now we have Un Centissimo de Balboa. This is going to be from Panama, and it is a 2018 with the Yaraka Warrior on the front. First four into the bag, by the way. We'd been stuck at 14 weed scents for quite a bit, and about 10 or 12 handfuls later, we finally have a weed scent, and in this case, we have two. So weed scent number 15 is a 1948 Philly, and weed scent number 16 is a 1940, I believe Philadelphia, it's heavily damaged. We'll call it a 1940 Philly. Weed scent 17, another 1956 Denver. Well, we're about halfway done with the bag and we haven't found a weed scent for this clip, but I was wondering if we were gonna find one of the white AMs and under the scope, I have both a 98 regular strike and a 98 white AM. I recently did a short on these, but this is the white AM right there. And that's the regular strike. You can definitely see the separation and you need to know that it's gotta be fully separated, not close at all. If they're touching or even very close, it's definitely not the white AM. I have found many of the 1998 and the 2000 white AMs, but I've never found a 1999. This one's actually in really great shape, probably in that MS 63 to 65 range. And I have a graded 65, but this might rival it. I may hold on to this one and think about submitting it. We'll have to see. It's nice to see a wide AM. I thought with all of the scoping of the 98, 99, and 2000s, I'd get a nice one. And hopefully I can get a 2000 nice one because I don't have a graded example of that. This is the second most rare wide AM other than the 1999, of course. Put that to the top, throw that one back, and get back to the hunt. Weed scent number 18 is going to be a 1951 Denver. Weed set number 19, one away from 20. And that's a 1955 Denver. Weed set 20, I didn't even notice because it was so red. So hopefully it's an older one. But either way, it's a nice looking one. Weed set number 20 of the bag. It's going to be a last year 1958D, but I don't care. It's still in fantastic shape. And it's actually our first 58D of this bag. Speaking of the bag... Let's get back to the hunt. We're now working on the bottom half of the bag and I just splashed a handful out and we made it to 21 wheat cents and hopefully it's older by the reverse. It's not, it's just gonna be a 1944S, but at least like I've said a couple of times now, it doesn't have any wipe away marks, looks pretty good. We're gonna have our third foreign of the bag and it's gonna be a Bermuda one cent with the pig on it. 2005. We're getting down to the bottom of the bag. Still got quite a bit left though, but we've got our 22nd wheat scent and it's another 1944 Philadelphia. Wheat scent number 23 of the bag, another 1956 Philadelphia. Wheat scent number 24, a 1953 Denver this time. Looks like we got about 10 to 12 handfuls left in the bag, but we have made it to both 25 and 26 on the wheat scents because there's two in this handful. Wheat scent 25 is another 1944 Philly, and wheat scent number 26 is a 1951 Denver again. We're down to the last handful or so in the bag, but we've got wheat scent number 27 staring back at us. Just another 1956 Denver, however. We've seen a lot from that year. Well, we finished that bag of pennies from Southern Metal. It was a fun bag. Obviously, it was much different than the last bag as far as the mix, but we still had 27 wheat cents, and if that was a two-box hunt, I would take that all day. Not a good mix of dates, really, but we did have some older stuff. We got a 1910, pretty slick, a 1935. We don't need them, but it's nice to see. The best two wheat cents of the bag was the 1947S, could be an upgrade and then a pretty nice 1958D. And even though it's in really nice shape, I think we have a bright red one in the book. We also got three foreign coins, the Panamanian coin, the Canadian coin, and the Bermuda coin. I'll definitely take those and add them to my foreign coins or world coin jar. The find of the box is gonna be the 1998 Wide AM FS 901. I have a graded one that's MS 65. 
This one is really close. I'll have to compare it to it because if it is an MS-65 or better, it's worth grading because it'll be worth a couple hundred dollars. And even after grading fees, I'd only be in it for about $50 all in. So that would be something I'd have to consider. I'll let you guys know. As far as the side finds, we did get five 1959s and 169S, not the DDO. The copper was about even with the last bag. Four pounds, three ounces. So slightly under the last bag, but... We had so many other memorial scents in the other one that obviously there was significantly less copper when you factor in all of the finds from the hunts. That being said, I had a great time hunting this bag. Southern Metal, I appreciate you sending me two bags. Hopefully, we're game for another bag down the road, but I got to get back to some boxes to see if I can get some local good finds as well. Now that I have all of the finds separated and on the board, I do need to check against the album to see if we have any upgrades or additions. I don't think we're going to have any additions, but maybe an upgrade. We'll have to see. Let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be back in just a minute with a look at the books and a final thought on the hunt. Well, I compared all the finds to the album. We will have an upgrade, but no additions. And for those wondering, the 58D I have in here, even though there's a slight discoloration mark, it's definitely more lustrous and more bright red than the other one. So I'm going to keep the old one in here because it looks nice enough. That being said, we do have the upgrade, like I mentioned, and you guys like to see what they look like. So there's the 47S we had in there, which was brown. And there's the 47S that I'm upgrading. Again, they're about even on detail, maybe slightly less wear on Lincoln's cheek on the new 47S, but the color alone makes me want to plug it in and upgrade it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, after 210 boxes worth of cents hunted, we're still stuck at 205 out of the 234 cents we need, but taking an upgrade this late like I did last time, I'll take it any day. We'll get that back into the jar of 40 sweet cents. And I want to mention one more time, if you want to get in on Southern Metal's channel giveaway, I'll have that video at the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one bag or two box hunt. I know I did. Yeah, it wasn't as epic as the last one, but still a very good bag nonetheless. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.